Welcome back to another episode of the Giga Hub Weekly Show, uh, where we talk about things that we care about that other people might not care about. <laughs> I'm your host, Luis Delatore. I'm Adam Kren. I'm Daikaiju Tony. Tony. And before we start on anything, let's talk about our wonderful sponsor, Cosmic Comics. Right. Where we have a bunch of stuff a that bunch of stuff. you could ever want. Now, comics are in the name, mm-hmm. but we do more than comics at Cosmic But comics. there are no comics here. Oh, no, wait. There's plenty <laughs> of comics here. Yeah. There's plenty of comics here. There's no, comics there's behind so me. There's so many comics, yeah. There's, gra- there's omnibuses mm-hmm. above me. One there's can never comics have... behind you. There's omnibuses and graphic novels mm-hmm. behind you. can never have too many comics. Behind Tony, there is rows and rows and rows of back issues. Come get these books, you guys. Come get these Come books. Get these books. I have a book right here. It's not a comic. It is a game, and it's called Gaslands Refueled. You ever want to modify some Hot Wheels? This is the book for you. Look at that. There's a pi- oh, pretty, yeah, yeah. There's some pictures. There's a Hot Wheel. Oh, man, I missed it. <laughs> we got some wonderful. Yeah, yeah we don't just that. have comic books either. Yeah. We have we have uh, apparel, uh, right, games, yeah. a lot of games. Tony, what you got over what there? What you got? Games? You got uh, King of Tokyo, King which is Tokyo. probably one of my favorite board games of all time. I like that game. And all that expansions. Game. That is a very fun game. Highly right? recommend this yeah. for right. anyone who is into giant monsters or fun in general. That's mm-hmm. right. King of Tokyo. You have statues, toys, and pops. And I just have to show these off real quick because I bought these for myself just now. Right. But we have a couple more. Yeah. These are a Blue Beetle and Booster Gold double pop set right here. Right. Super nice. There's still some more here, so you can come and get them. Right. That's Cosmic Comics in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Indeed. The jewel the of the jewel Mojave Desert. Of the Mojave Desert. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Come on down. We'd love to see you. Yeah. All right. Tonight's episode, tonight's discussion is Justice League. Oh. Zack Snyder. Zack Snyder. Zach Zack Snyder. Zack Snyder. Zack the Snack. The sack. The sack. Did you Schne- see uh, Wedding, wedding Crashers? Zack yeah. the Sack. Or yeah. Schneivy. Yeah. Schneivy. Yeah, we're going to be talking about the Snyder cut of Justice League, which came out this week. Right. Um, yeah, it just came out a few days uh, ago. It's very... HBO Max and uh, theaters, I think. Yeah. I, I don't know about theaters. I know oh, I, I have HBO know. Max, so I was able to watch that's it. What, but yeah, that's where I watched it. Mm-hmm. So this movie is long. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is it, a four-hour movie. It clocks in at four hours and two minutes. Right, it does. And maybe four hours and one minute if you don't watch the credits. Thank There's no post credit scene, so you don't have to watch yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. There is mm-hmm. Because unfortunately, we found that out for you. No post credit yes. scene. Yeah, no, I fast-forwarded all the way to the end. Yeah, yeah. Same here. Yeah. Um, it was bad. Yeah, this was a four-hour Two movie, two four hour, two minute right. endeavor. Right. Um, so I guess initial let's thoughts. Let's jump right in. Let's yeah, just let's jump right uh, into this thing. Huh? Thumbs up, thumbs down. What do you What do you guys think? <laughs> are we are. Oh, we're already starting on. Oh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make this a short episode. Oh, <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Um, no, thumbs down. So uh, yeah, initial thoughts. Thumbs down. I have, um, I have some initial thoughts. There's some things I really appreciated about the film. Please, go ahead. Um, one of the things that bugged me, well, because let's go back to the Joss Whedon theatrical cut, right? Mm-hmm. There's Batman fighting alongside all these super-powered beings. I always hated that in movies, because it's stupid. He's Batman. He's not He's not Superman. He's this not the you, Flash. This is not a movie opinion. This is you talking purely out of a, a, a Batman fan. Because st- I agree with you. I, I, I'm a fan I'm of with Batman. You. I'm, I just, I'm a fan of Batman. I yeah. hate when they have him like fighting alongside Flash right. and Aquaman. That's just... No. <laughs> it's not who he is. Right. Um, but this movie, one of the things I did appreciate is the fact that he was very human. There, there's a, there is some humor in it, but the humor works better. Um, like... Uh, it's not as it's not as grim as you would think for Zack Snyder. No, it only looks it, that way. The color palette only looks that right, way. Right, the color palette only makes it seem that way. But um, yeah. speaking of which, let's show some color palette. But um, there is it's a, a very scene. dark movie. Long and dark is yeah, right. the best way I would describe this there, movie. There Long is and a dark. there is a scene near the end where the <laughs> where the fight where the fight sort of finishes up and Batman's sort of hanging from the edge of something, yeah. and and they help him up. And he I'm was, like, thank he, you. Yeah, he's he wasn't involved in the big fight, and I'm so thankful for that because yeah. I always hate that. Honestly, I was when very they, surprised. Yeah, I was waiting I was so for, like, thankful for that. I was waiting for him to call like. Right. Alfred and be like Alfred the bat iron suit and yeah. like some energize the bat suit or some yeah. stupid energize crap. the yeah. iron bat and yeah. I don't know I was ex- I was expecting this yeah. big like Iron Man moment which we didn't get which is I'm fine with he was I, in a car I'm so happy for that he I, was always lagging behind obviously right yes yeah, I, so. I so much appreciated that. yeah that I can do it um 
I also appreciated that Cyborg, for once in his history, was not a boring character. Whoa. I, Cyborg is the most boring character, and he always has been. Have you seen the Teen Titans cartoon? Yeah, whatever. I'm not talking about the cartoon. I'm talking about the old comics. I always thought Cyborg was no, the no, most I don't disagree with boring you on that. vanilla I don't, character ever. I don't ever. disagree with you on that. I, I, I disagree on the fact that you think this movie made him interesting. More interesting honestly, than he has been. Honestly, you want an interesting Cyborg? Yeah. Uh, Doom Patrol? Doom Patrol. Yeah, Doom, Doom, Doom Patrol, Patrol Cyborg. Well, that's cool, but I didn't see it, so I'm you talking d- about you, I'm you, talking about classic Teen Titans and now Justice League Cyborg. Yeah. Um, at least he's more interesting in this than he has been traditionally in comics in uh, I guess Justice I could see League. That, yeah. Um, what else did I appreciate? Um, I don't know. That might be it. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. I wasn't a fan of Cyborg. I wasn't a fan of Cyborg. I, uh, no, oh, and, the, I th- and I thought it's, I thought the CG. Body looked terrible. I, I didn't. I thought like it looked, looked bad. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like when he's like hunching down. And he's like, uh, uh, there could uh, have been this weird. really good mix of like practical and like CG would have been yeah. great. I yeah. think, but um, like Doom Patrol yeah. Cyborg. <laughs> Doom Patrol Cyborg was great. I, well, there, well, there's not a lot to it. He wears like a tracksuit. Yeah, because he's an athlete. But um, like, it, and it's TV. It's fine. But I don't know. Well, I, I find him more interesting character than the that. The thing is with this Cyborg and the whole story in general is like it's based on the New Fifty Two Justice League. Oh, is it? So okay. yeah, Cyborg is obviously. Oh, that's more, right. He was know, like a football cybernetic, player and, all that and stuff. he's a football player who was enhanced by human yeah. technology, not a mother box. Which <laughs> it's just fine. I don't. I don't mind that aspect of it. I think it's a it's a fine idea if he's going to be part of the Justice League. He right. can't just be a robot. Or else a they would ribbit, just have ribbit. robots everywhere, right? Why why not be like a, a space alien technology robot? Right. I mean, what, you might as well have Red Tornado yeah. if you're going to do what, that. Uh, yeah, right. What are what are some things you appreciated, Tony? I uh, like the... Well, I'm glad that Cyborg actually has character development now. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, he was just as vanilla as vanilla can get <laughs> in the in the Joss Whedon version. Holy crap. No. Um like how some of the humor added in the Joss Whedon The version humor actually was, fit, was, yeah, was and, I, and I like that they removed some of that forced humor, yeah. Yeah. The, the humor that was there Are you telling me fit. the humor that you saw didn't feel forced either? Not like it did in the Joss Whedon okay, version. I, oh, still, I still felt well, forced to me. I, uh, yeah. I also like scenes with Flash, especially for throughout the most the part. End. For the most part, yeah. And how they elaborated a yeah, bit more on the you. Speed Force. Yeah. No. I don't want to be listen. I don't want to be the guy that that reigns on this parade. Yeah, of, one of, of us positivity, has to. right? Like, if you <laughs> hey, find, I'm listen, only talking about what listen, I appreciate. If There's a find, lot. If you like this movie, that's totally fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you find something positive about this movie, that's totally fine. Absolutely. Yeah. If you don't, that's fine too. Just don't be a, a jerk about it. Honestly, <laughs> there was a lot of this. Did movie you appreciate I didn't like. anything about this? No. Film? Really? No. Well, but you, just, Woman, you just didn't like it. I just, I just didn't. The I don't know. I guess. <laughs> you know what? No, I didn't. But the I, Wonder Woman scene, where she let just me, goes let me, no, no. listen, uh, no, 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 I'm, I'm wrong. So like a lot I was of, okay uh, with most of the Wonder Woman. Besides, scene. like the bad. We'll, well, she's probably like the best thing to come out of this whole DC movie franchise is is Wonder Woman. But right, I will say like um the the action sequences, the fight sequences, I was fine with. Honestly, it was about as superhuman of a of a fight as you're gonna get. I think it looked great. Yeah, I think when she was like moving all fast. Yeah. You know, you remember uh, who was she fighting? She's just fighting some like dudes who yeah, she was fighting terrorists down to school. She's fighting terrorists, yeah, <laughs> super vanilla terrorist organization. Yeah, and that's fine. Honestly, I I thought that was cool. I th- all of all the fight scenes were great. Yeah, I will right. say that. I will. All the fight scenes are great. Um, I do appreciate again. I do appreciate the Batman thing where he was he was a dude, a human. Yeah. He was a guy, and he was gonna do about as much as he was gonna do. Yeah, he right, wasn't yeah. in the main chamber fighting yeah. Steppenwolf. Thank or, God, yeah, yeah. Like, know, he, like he was in the Joss Whedon version. Yeah, yeah. declaring yeah. that he was he yeah. was he was doing that in the Joss Whedon. I didn't watch. Uh, he the Joss did. Whedon yeah, version. he was. He it's was just, fighting right alongside him. Yeah, it just it leads me to believe if this this is a whole movie, this is a four hour movie. What did that two hour movie cut out? Right. Mm-hmm. Because uh, you, you, you read well, what it cut all out. The it cyborg cut stuff. All the cyborg stuff. <laughs> all right. the cyborg uh, stuff. A lot of Themyscira stuff. A lot of Themyscira stuff. Which felt like 300. A lot of Flash stuff. Here um, was the thing. The first two hours of the movie, this bugged me a lot. This first two hours of the movie, they're not even the Justice League yet. <laughs> they're not even the Justice League yet. Well, hey, well, you got to have some of that, I think. No, but it's too, it took too long. For, well, four, for a four-hour movie, it was way too long. Wasn't it originally yeah. supposed to kind of be two movies, though? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's it, what I had to have in mind while watching right. this. I, 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 I would have much preferred that. Right. 
I would have much preferred an in between film from the what was the last one that came out? The last DC move like was it Batman? Uh, was Dawn Bat- of Justice? Batman vs Superman. So, uh, that piece of wait crap. from that, that movie's night, bad. Wait, wait. Oh, and went before Justice League? Yeah, yeah, yeah BVS. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like something that between bad. that and Justice League would would have worked better than to just squish it all together into one movie. Yeah. Well, I mean, this honestly. <laughs> So so rarely will I ever stand up for Zack Snyder. But more power <laughs> to him for getting the chance to actually finish this. Because mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. nobody thought that was going to happen. Yeah. Right. Um, I'm I'm generally not a fan of Zack Snyder. Um, Honestly, yeah. 300 I like, although yeah. I haven't seen it in a while now. Um, the his remake of Dawn of the Dead is decent. Yeah. Watchmen was um, but weird. other than that, Watchmen was, uh, Watchmen, was okay. Watchmen's good, but just he just he failed. Yeah, he yeah. fumbled the end. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. That's kind of hard. I mean, he may have been under pressure to change it too. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but um, you need the, the giant squid. But yeah, but yeah. Uh, honestly, I didn't think it was going to happen. Right, right. Like I, so I know there was, there, there, was a t- that, there yeah. was a time that people were clamoring and for the. And Snyder I know he had pack. some personal tragedy. That sucks. I mean, yeah. I not a fan, but that doesn't. That just sucks. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Joe Manganiello is Deathstroke. <laughs> Was great, honestly. I would. I it, that's the w- one of the few I, things that sucks about it is that I'm not going to get to see more Deathstroke. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. I do like Deathstroke, and I thought I thought Joe Manganiello was a good Deathstroke. Yeah, I yeah. thought he was a well. Yeah, he fits for what we saw of Deathstroke. Right. What yeah. about the Society Man? We live in a society. <sighs> oh my gosh, yeah. the Joker. <laughs> oh he only yeah. Said that for you the know trailer. what? Let's save that because okay. that freaking scene. Oh. Okay, well, spoilers, by the way. Uh, we should, okay. we oh, should yeah, yeah. preface this with some spoilers. Uh, the but... the Facebook post does say we're gonna spoil. This. Okay. Oh, yeah. What about the big cat in the room? Uh, dark side. The elephant in the room. Or dark elephant. side. We've already seen that. We already seen the picture of him. It's on the slideshow here. Um, I I liked that they showed dark side. I liked how he was used, mm-hmm. except for the. Uh, the uh, Lord of the Rings alliance, the final alliance of the last alliance scene. I I really thought I was watching Lord of the Rings there for a minute. Dude, honestly, listen, like, honestly, what is going on? Honestly, we were my my girlfriend and I the were men, watching it. The men, the elves, and yeah. the dwarves came together to defeat Sauron. We were at, we were Mountain <laughs> Doom or whatever. Like we what? were we were watching it, and uh, we were just like that scene was great. That scene was cool. I saw it, it, Lord it's of the only Rings. been yeah. two hours, yeah. and this is the coolest. They're not, the, the coolest thing we see is not even the Justice League. It's right, these right. people. I just want to see this movie. Can we see this movie? Right. <laughs> you did. It's called Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I just thought it was funny. Like yeah. you see the whole scene where they're fighting against uh, Apocalypse. Well, and then they take the boxes, and the Atlanteans have a place for the box, and the Themyscirans yeah. have a place oh. for the box, and then like. Men were just like, let's bury it. <laughs> let's <laughs> bury it. Bury it in a field. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that. Let's bury it in a field. Uh, well, it is the, humans. Tis the safest place. <laughs> tis the safest place. Um, yeah. Yeah, I actually I'm thankful for that scene because up until that point, I was literally like, oh, they're going with the whole stupid. The whole stupid trope were like, it's this evil that exists, and these mother boxes are here, and there's no reason to rhyme for it before that point. Mm, right. So at least it's like, okay, at least it gives that kind of meaning. Because before that, I was like, this is dumb. Right, right. <laughs> I do. And then they show that scene. I'm like, okay, at least now, I still think it's dumb, but it sort of makes sense now. Oh. At least we have a reason. Yeah. Granny, they actually go- Granny tried Goodness to- was there. Yeah, I, he, I, appre- I appreciate. He, she looked weird. She did, but I appreciate the fact that she was there. Yeah, true. They could have yes. easily just not had Greg. You know, she's such a kind of a weird character, the, but like I appreciate that the she's greatest there. Granny, Granny Goodness was still Ed Asner. Ed Asner, right? Justice yeah, Justice League. Yeah, he should actually play. He's, he's an old man now. He's got to be in his nineties. But I mean, I would love if he actually played Granny Goodness. Yeah, it would fit. Good. Yeah, he was great. <laughs> it would fit. Do yourself a favor. Watch, watch Ed Asner as, yeah. as Granny Goodness. <laughs> he's the best. Yeah, man. He's uh, the sod. Yeah, Desaad was there. Yeah. Desaad was there. Yeah. yeah, I didn't mind all that well, stuff. I'm glad Granny. No, Goodness no, I'm fine with that. Looked, I want to say I was okay. surprised to see Granny Goodness. Yeah, yeah, I was. I'm glad Granny Goodness looked like a human because I don't want to. I don't. I was yeah, hoping yeah, that she looked like a buff grandma. Yeah, I was <laughs> hoping that not. Comic. I was hoping that not everyone in Apocalypse looks like a mutant or something yeah. like what, like what happened. That's with true. Stephen Wolf. Yeah, because Granny Goodness did look like. An old, a buff old lady, really. Because I'm pretty sure <laughs> Stephen Wolf in the comics does not have that friggin'. <laughs> yeah. No, he was a guy with armor. Yeah. He, he had would. a helmet with horns and stuff. Like, yeah. Let, like let, let. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm no, sorry. like, yeah, I get they're aliens, but at the same time, um, isn't Mr. Miracle. Most of them were humanoid, yeah. Yeah. There, yeah. Isn't Mr. Miracle from. Well, no, there, not actually. Uh, the original Fourth World, Mr. Miracle 
was Apocalypse's son, but it was actually his adopted son, mm. uh, which of neither of them sons, knew yeah. that. I don't think they knew that until later on. I think Big Barda, who actually worked for Grant and Goodness mm. at one point, she, I think she broke the news to, like, mm. you're not his son, actually. Mm. Orion's his son. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, they traded mm. kids to keep the peace, basically. Mm. But what do you think of, like, how they betrayed Apocalypse as a whole? Like, the whole world. Oh, portrayed him? Yeah, no, like, the, the world in general and... Uh, you know... <laughs> Like per, it was perfunctory. I think that's the best way to put it. It's yeah. nothing I didn't expect. I mean, granted, that would be hard to do anyway, but it's a Zack Snyder film, and it's like, yeah, it's going to look like this. I could have, if I would have described it the day before I saw it, I would have been right. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. right on the. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's not going to, it wasn't surprising. There was nothing surprising about it. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Can we talk about the CG? The CG doesn't look great. Right? Okay. Well, to be yeah. fair, I mean, he well, was only given so much money. I'm sure he had to cut some corners, uh, and there was some CG that looked rough. Some of it looked really yeah. good. I thought it looked, other, yeah. I thought. Oh, sorry, I let you finish. Ahead, I thought it looked yeah. all right for what it is up until the very end with the apocalypse world, like the the the, the dark future. Right. Basically, um, we're Earth's dark future or apocalypse. Earth, Earth's dark future, where Flash yeah. uh, like his helmet like uh, moves up, and I think they CG died his face. That, oh, probably. Yeah, probably. I think they see Judy's face. So, my understanding is a lot of that scene was not, didn't exist. Right. A lot of it was filmed for that, for this version, so. Mm, okay. Yeah, but, um, yeah. Well, we, so that um, means we we got the pleasure of seeing Jared Leto as the Joker again? So, yeah. Society. Mm. He said we live in society. I, I really didn't like that, <laughs> by the way. That whole scene, I mean, granted, one thing, it's like, what the hell? But yeah. then, okay, it's a dream. But even still, I'm like, why is this here? I was just like, why? That was another thing that ran Just so you could have Martian Manhunter? It just kind of went on and on and on. Yeah, was there a... <sighs> please let me know. Was there? Was he in another movie? Was he in BVS? What, Who? Who? Martian Manhunter. No. No. So he just kind of showed up in this one? Yeah. yeah. He's just kind of there. There was no... And honestly... I, I, I just decided to help you out. Yeah, I don't Yeah, I decided to help you out now. I'm like, He's such a powerful character. Why the hell wouldn't he have helped him fight? Yeah. I didn't Yeah, right? That. What a jerk. Why didn't he yeah, show up? Right. He's he's damn near Superman himself. Yeah, yeah. they uh, wouldn't have even had to go through this yeah. whole Superman thing if they had Martian yeah. Manhunter. Oh, well, of Superman, what'd you think of his resurrection in this movie? Yeah, that was freaking dumb. I yeah. honestly, there are things about the movie I liked. I actually probably liked it more than I expected to, but <laughs> <What>? <laughs> just flat out resurrecting him seemed like the stupidest thing to me. Like, okay, am I watching? A horror movie now? Is this The Conjuring? What's going on? Like, we're just going to flat out bring them back from the dead? I mean, I, I, like, <laughs> I'll tell you when it looked like a horror movie when William Dafoe showed up as an Atlantean, but we'll talk about that some other That was, yeah, he's getting old, man. I love Willem Dafoe. No, of he's course, getting old. But yeah. Um, um, it's just funny to see him in, well, like, the armor and stuff. It's, you know what? I, I would have liked it. I, it's very comic booky. You know, and the whole the whole idea of when sure. Superman died, and then he's like, "Oh, he's not dead. He's actually he pulled a Mister Spock, and his body's just healing." Yeah, I mean, it's comic booky, but I would have rather had that. Yeah, this, have, in fact, matter of fact, this is just like him? what I thought. At least they could have. Yeah, I thought that was going to happen in the end of Batman for Superman right. because you see the pebbles like right. levitate for a little. I'm like, okay, so I, he's going to come back naturally, but I, no, they had to resurrect him as in. Right, I would have much preferred yeah. something along the lines of like. I, oh, he, Batman or somebody sensing like, oh, he's not, he's he's not dead. Yeah, but he's healing. But we need him now. Okay, then use the mother yeah. boxes or jumpstart him with the mother boxes. <laughs> yeah, and flash that, but just flat out resurrecting, bringing him back from the dead. Like what? <laughs> you, you don't think that like right <laughs> after Doomsday, you don't think that would be right. you know a yeah. good idea? Yeah, that just didn't seem like a concept I felt fit like that just seemed so for a comic book that just seemed a little too out there. i like just interactions with lois yeah i i, I although yeah. apparently <laughs> lois is pregnant yeah they only hinted at it they never really there's all never, these loose there was two there was two very big foreshadowing one was of course when she opens the drawer it's full of pregnancy <laughs> tests which mm. is like was she checking herself every day yeah and the other one of course is near the end where Basically, Bruce says, "Congratulations, by the way." Huh? Yeah, he okay. he says that. He goes, "Oh yeah, congratulations, yeah. by the way." Yeah, and it's oh, very. Speaking I mean, of Batman, why would he say that? You know. <laughs> speaking of Batman, in the end, uh, the Bat Tank from Dark Knight Returns. I hated up. that too. I hated that. I, I love it. That's just Zack Snyder being Zack Snyder now. Yeah. It's I, like now you're pissing on us, you son of a. <laughs> well, Zack Snyder probably he just wanted he just wanted to remake Dark Knight Returns. Yeah. 
But I, 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 I felt something while looking at that. I'm like, oh, I do, you could have used that in the movie. Yeah, I <sighs> do have to say, as m- I was one of the few that I not out and out defended Ben Affleck as Batman when people said, oh, Ben Affleck as Batman, that's terrible. I, I don't think it's terrible. I didn't think it was terrible, but honestly, I didn't particularly care for him as Batman, to be honest. He's meh. He's very yeah. meh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Was, yeah. Uh, I mean, I liked him better than Christian Bale but by the third movie. Yeah, Chris. Uh, yeah. No, I disagree. He didn't, he didn't. I disagree. Uh, he was okay. I just don't think he. Uh, his voice certainly didn't hold. <laughs> <up. Yeah. laughs> but um, yeah, I I found that surprising. I uh, hate. No, swear to God, swear to me. I hate. I always hated ever since Batman eighty eight or eighty nine, whenever that movie came out. When the Batmobile just starts sprouting weapons and missiles, I've always hated that. I hated it in this. <laughs> well, 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 but the, I mean, at least in this, it's like, okay. It made sense because he was fighting, he was fighting demons, like supernatural. Yeah, yeah, right. but, well, not supernatural, like alien, alien creatures. Alien creatures, yeah. yeah. Okay, but what did you think about the ejector seat? <laughs> the ejector? Yeah. Did he the use seat, that? Yeah, Batman, the seat just go. Oh, yeah, yeah that's That just right. came out yeah, of nowhere. Did. I'm like, whoa. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> I thought that was awesome when I saw it. I'm um, like, okay, they brought back the one thing the 66 Batmobile had. Yeah. I don't know. I just, the more I watch this movie, like, it's a, it's it's done in parts. So it's like, you'll see, like, part one, part yeah. two, part three. It took yeah. me through. Right Never mind. I kept thought, am I watching The Meaning of Life, Monty Python? Yeah. <laughs> I think, well, part here's the three, thing. When we were death. watching it, we were lo- <laughs> when we were watching it, I had this idea of, like, it's kind of like like a comic, I think. Like, I think maybe that's yeah. what they were trying to do. Like, the first part was, like, the first issue of a comic, and the second part was, well, like, the second issue type deal. never let it be said that Zack Snyder doesn't take himself too seriously. Mm. <laughs> right. Because um, it, it's certainly, there's some certain, there's some self-indulgence there. Um, definitely some <laughs> self-indulgence there. Right. Um, I, there are things that just didn't make sense or, or didn't work. Mm-hmm. Like, for me, I remember there was a scene where, so, um, you know, they go through the first big fight after... After um, what's his name? Stephen Wolf uh, is looking for the third um, Motherbox. Mother box. Mother box, yeah. Which well, I don't want to even get into how much that whole that all irritates me with the whole Mother Box thing. But um, with the original Fourth World. But uh, uh, so he, you know, and they beat him back or whatever. But he can't find it. I don't remember exactly what happened. But basically, they don't know where it is. But then Cyborg shows up. Well, it's because I have it. Right. And then. <laughs> You know, Aquaman immediately starts to accuse him of being on the bad guy's side. And I'm like, are you an idiot? Mm-hmm. He has it. If he was on the bad guy's side, he'd just take it to Steppenwolf. Right. Yeah. I mean, how dumb are you? I just thought, like, what? Wait, did, did that is the worst force tension I think I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. We need to we need to have tension with the team. Well, it was well that's not the way to do it. <laughs> it's like it was better than that. Would, that would mean Aquaman's an idiot. Well, kind of is, I mean, it, well, yeah. Was, I think was, he's supposed to be kind of like the jockish character. Uh, yeah. yeah, it was better than how Joss Whedon handled the tension between the teams. Like basically, in the in yeah. the Joss Whedon cut, it was basically Bruce Wayne antagonizing Diana using the death of Steve Trevor. I'm like, that is just well, you low. know, that was one thing I actually appreciated because. Flat out, I mean, that was my question. Where were you for the last 80 years? Because yeah. what were you doing? Right. I think it's a valid question, personally. But you don't you don't start a character that powerful back in 1915 entering the modern world and then not doing anything for 100 freaking years. That's yeah. absurd. Right. There's, uh, I wasn't going to get into that with this version. There's one of the other things, too. It's like this movie had a lot of sort of like little things that never, ever panned out in the rest of the movie. Like... There was a scene where Batman, where Bruce Wayne and Diana were in the Batcave, and like they kind of did that thing where they reached for the same thing, touched yeah. hands, like they were supposed to like be yeah. some sort of like love I f- tension thing, and then it just it, it never was spoken of again. Yeah, my- I felt it was a Justice League, like an old Justice League cartoon. Yeah, that was yeah. my assumption. It's like, okay, yeah. is Zack Snyder gonna make this like the, uh, yeah. is he gonna make this like Justice League Unlimited, where you know they were kind of a thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. which. I don't know. I this movie just had a lot of like little moments like that where it, yeah. it just never panned out. Like I don't I don't know where this movie was supposed to be. There were times where I was lost in what was happening. Right. Which right. isn't great. It's not great. Um I don't know. I think maybe this would have worked better as a series. Maybe I don't know. This well, was too long of a movie. This is it 4 was hobb- hours for just about any movie is way too much. I think and I think you said this early on. I think I'm not saying flat out forgiven, but there has to at least be an understanding that it is a somewhat cobbled together 
mm-hmm. yeah. film from sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. from a film and a half worth of footage, mm-hmm. <laughs> or two films worth of footage. Uh, yeah. There is some of that, um, but I thought some things worked, and I thought some things didn't. Right? Yeah. Do you guys you guys liked the Flash? I'm guessing. Yeah. Uh, I thought he was alright. I, I, I think he was better in this one. I found him kind of annoying. I found him kind of annoying. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but he was supposed to be young and and naive and and dumb, <laughs> but yeah. smart guy. You I, know. I guess. I don't know. I don't mind the actor as Flash. Ezra Miller. Um, yeah, Ezra Miller. I will say this. This did. Um, I went into this not very enthusiastic. I came out of it not satisfied, but I wasn't as. I, I guess I would say I wasn't so terribly disappointed. It's not good by any means, but it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Up until the epilogue, I actually liked the finale a lot, a lot more than the uh, mm. the Joss Whedon Justice League. Uh-huh. You know, I thought the finale worked for the right. most part, except the whole time travel thing. I, I hated that we went back to Batman or Superman 1977 to do the whole time travel thing, even <laughs> yeah. though even though it was a flash and it made more sense within that arc, it was kind of like, yeah. it kind of felt yeah. a little like, did we have to do that? <laughs> yeah. it's Well, I, I kind of, well, I'm mixed in this. Like, it's cliffhanger especially with the whole dark future that happens. But at the same time, it's open-ended, so I, I, don't, I don't mind it not continuing with that. Yeah, I mean, I think my biggest concern... My biggest, biggest, biggest concern for this is where do you really, with with the story, the mm-hmm. story as a whole, you, you know, you have Dark Side, you have an invasion of Earth, you have Flash going back in time, you have them resurrecting Superman. Yeah, where do you go after that? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, well, that's that's y- the... you've played <sighs> your cards. I mean, what that, do you? That's the thing, though, right? Like he was trying, if I remember correctly, he was trying to stop this version right. in the epilogue from happening presumably that's what happened but apparently not yeah i i didn't understand that i i mean so, clearly they're doing a dimension or a, or a, or a, what's it called the like uh, a multiverse multiverse thing right i don't know so then they throw the joker in for you to get excited about this yeah. possibility of a reality but no. it's like <laughs> how do we go from there to there because obviously, obviously they want you to go to there because the Joker right. is in it. They wouldn't just throw in right. the Joker right, in right, it right, right. for you not to want to go there. So yeah. how do we get from here to there? Mm-hmm. And and why? And why? <laughs> and why, and why and would, why would, would we? There? Yeah, why yeah. would we? Yeah, yeah. That that's if you wanted insane. to show the Joker, he could have shown up in Gotham somewhere, I right? Get. Like I don't know if you needed to have him. If you just absolutely needed to have the Joker in there, <sighs> I don't know. I right. just. The it's, epilogue. It suddenly <laughs> felt like I was watching a Canadian science fiction show. Well, Let's uh, posture, and I will kill you. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> shut up, man. Come mm-hmm. on. I am glad that they had to clarify that the that Stephen Wolf's layer or, or base was like radioactive because and which gave the excuse to get rid of that whole subplot with the family that Flash had to rescue. The fam and the Justice oh, League version. The, yeah, yeah, that's right. Ugh. I've, yeah, that I was fine. I didn't care about that because it was somebody nowhere, no one would be. Yeah, but oh, that that reminded me of something that did happen. Again, these weird, these weird plot holes or maybe elements that seem to got mixed or confused. Where it's like he used the radioactivity to build his base. Well, we're gonna do a frontal assault because that's he wouldn't expect that. That's why he built this dome. What? What? Yeah. Well, <laughs> if he didn't expect a frontal assault, he wouldn't have built up a dome. He would have right. just, he would have stayed there in secret. It's yeah. radioactive. Nobody will come here. Don't worry about it. Don't spit it. Yeah. yeah. What? Like what? <laughs> it didn't make any sense. Let's build a castle Six because, a yeah, let's build a castle because we don't expect a frontal assault. What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, you do. That's why you build the castle. Yeah. Because you oh, expect man. it to be sieged. That didn't make any sense. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, that's just bizarre. I don't bizarre. know. This was it's four <laughs> hours of my life. I'm not getting back. Honestly, yeah. honestly, look. You chose what, to what, watch it. It's true. Well, for this show, <laughs> any other time I wouldn't have watched it. But, yeah. like, honestly, I. it's like I said. It wasn't, it wasn't as terrible as I thought it was going to be. I still could have gone without seeing it. Yeah, be careful. I, yeah. I, I, I don't think that it was, even with this four-hour cut, I don't think it was any good. I think the pacing was terribly off. Right. I, I think that, yeah. I think it was off. I think it was, I just think it was bad. I, I there think... was, there was so many, there was like a, there was a moment where, and I don't know if this was, 
There was a moment where Batman was trying to bring back, was talking about bringing back Superman. Right. And he was speaking as though they had already been the Justice League way before. He's like, no, there's six of us. There has, there's six of us. Yeah. And I don't know if that's from well, another movie I, or if that's... It felt like he was... It felt like they were ty- trying to tie in those dreams he kept having or something. Yeah, oh, okay, but, that makes sense. But there wasn't enough of it, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? And 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 I don't know. It was just I, this movie traded away a lot of. I, I feel like a, a like a better writing, a better script, better pacing. They traded it in for cool moments, which yeah. I think oh, is certainly. a problem yeah. with a lot of movies nowadays. Oh, yeah. Is that. They 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 just they want to have these cool moments right. and the movie's built around how do we get to these cool moments instead oh, of yeah. how do we tell a story oh, that agree. has cool moments. Right, right. I, I agree. The 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 cool moments when they happen organically, they're so much better than mm. forced. Like the whole, I've always hated to, I've always hated the uh, the uh, you know like they do the scene where they're like, and it's that Justice League pose or it's the Avengers pose, like yeah. Oh man, come on! Eye <laughs> <laughs> candy. That stuff works for comic books because yeah. it's a comic book. Yeah, uh, and then the, oh, and then the slow motion stuff like <laughs> way too well, much. Well, yeah. that's Zack Snyder. Zack slow Snyder. Motion. Yeah. Well, that's what was the meme I saw where it's like, Zach, what do you have the movie down to, or what do you have the movie edited edited at? Oh, it's at about two hours and fifteen minutes. But uh, you know, I, I'm shooting for four. Well, uh, how much how much slow motion is legal? I don't think there is a law against it. Four hours it is, or something like that. I was like, that's pretty funny. But and also yeah. like this, this here's here's Zack Snyder. Every scene, every freaking scene, boy, that camera just can't sit still. Mm. Yeah, like it just can't. He's it's got to move all the time, and it's like, dude, you're not a music video director anymore. Mm. Set the camera still occasionally. Yeah. You it know, can, it, it can stay in one. It, place. It can it's stay fine. in one place sometimes. It's fine. <laughs> Yikes! But okay. you know, so I mean, cool fight, some cool fight scenes. Yeah, I thought um, there's there's some good bits to it. It's just uh, like as a whole, it's just not enough for me to to say this movie is any good. Uh, I think the sum of its parts are better than the whole, mm-hmm. and I think a big part of that is because there's just weird elements that really did not fit. I don't think the whole dream sequence fit at all. Yeah. I don't think if you're not going to really have M- Martian Manhunter be a part of the finale, mm-hmm. then just leave him out, yeah. which is probably what Joss and company felt to do anyway. He just showed up. He just, was he was he in the Joss Whedon? No, 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 no. Okay. not at all. Um, you know, I, I, I just the whole flat out resurrection scene, which we already talked about, was just like, wait, what? Yeah. Am I watching an episode of Supernatural or Charmed or something, or what's going yeah. on? Like, what's happening? Oh, there's, yeah. a, there's the other weird thing, right? Like, maybe did I miss something with the Martian Manhunter when he shows up at Lois's house? Yeah. Uh, her as the as the as her, as her apartment mom. as or the as mom. Clark's mom. Yeah. Yeah, and then he leaves, and he's like, okay, cool, I'm the Martian Manhunter again. And I'm like, was it's there ever a conversation? the whole d- dream, sh- right? Was there crap. a conversation between Lois Lane and Ma Kent where they were like, "Oh yeah, you you told me you lost a farm," and she's like, "I didn't tell you that. I didn't go to your house. Uh, yeah. What are you talking?" I about? thought about that yeah. too. Yeah, <laughs> there's this whole plot hole where at some point they talked, but like, no, you know, Ma Kent doesn't remember. Right. Yeah. Right. So, and uh, the last thing I really just irritated me, which I just didn't see the point for, other than Zack Snyder being self indulgent, was the black suit. Why? I was yeah. fine with the black suit, but Why? I didn't like it when, like, at the end where he did this. Like, I thought it would go back to his normal colors. Yeah, he, get rid of the black suit, man. Yeah. <laughs> if the movie's dark enough, get some color in there. I know, right? geez, right? <laughs> yeah. Ugh. It just seemed like anything that wasn't the color of fire or black <laughs> was like, no, no thank you. Right. If it's not an explosion uh, color or just dark, Superman. I don't want it. Okay. Yeah, like he, you want to have him resurrect in the black suit, fine, fine. But when he goes to the final battle, put him in the blue, man. Like right. even like a- even like Aquaman in his like in his armor, which the armor looked cool. Yeah, it was, so it, dark. It was like a weird. Like I, I couldn't tell if it was gold or silver or, or what or what yeah, it was right. trying to be exactly. Like the color was so weirdly washed out. I uh, yeah. Well, yeah. we don't want the show to be as long as the movie. <laughs> yeah, no, we don't. And do, does anybody have any final thoughts? Do you have any final thoughts, Tony? Uh, I just liked it. That's about it. I didn't think yeah. it was super great. I just yeah. All right. If yeah. I when I see it as two movies, uh, it's passable. Should yeah. we just do classic like four star rating out of four? What would you give it? Four to That's five. That's tough because I, I I almost don't see it as a complete movie. Mm. 
I, t- two and well, a half. Well, you're going to have to because there's not going to be Out any more four, after this. Probably two and a half. But, and honestly, uh, the half star is because it has some really great moments. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But as a, as a movie as a whole, there's just too many things that feel like they're just sort of stuck on there. I give it a 3.8. Three three point eight out of that's four. High, that's high no. praise. Oh, wait, wait, wait. he said oh, a four star. He said four, four stars. Star, yeah. uh, Let's keep it simple. A four stars. Yeah, two point five. Yeah, that's what I say. Two half. and a half. Two and a half. Yeah, and the half star is only because there are some really great moments, but yeah. as a whole, it's just not a complete movie. It's just it's got a, issues. It's a one okay. star for me. One dog. star. It's a one, one star, star dog. <laughs> it's a one that's star. A no for, for me, me dog. dog. Okay. It's gonna be. It's gonna be half or one star. Yeah. I think there's some stuff in here that's very cool, but honestly, yeah. if I just wanted to watch cool scenes, like just. I, Fast forward through the whole movie. I do think it's scenes. better than the Whedon version. I yes. Really, yeah, I do think it's better than the Whedon I version. would have to watch the Whedon version Ugh. to figure that out for, for sure, sure, but I am not going to the do Whedon that. The Whedon version so. suffers from what... Well, did you ever see The Last Witch Hunter with... Uh, with, uh, with uh, I did not. Name? I was Vin told Diesel. it was terribly boring. Yeah, yeah, that's what the Whedon version is. It's so it's the one thing it shouldn't have been. Mm-hmm. Stupidly safe. But that's what they brought him in for. Didn't they bring right, him right. in for to do right. like to a, a Marvel very, movie? To be a very, very safe film. Oh, okay. And that's what it is. It's safe and forgettable. Yeah. yeah. You know? I think they rushed the whole Justice League thing. I think they yeah. should. I know they're trying not to be like Marvel, but right. I think, oh, yeah, yeah. But I think in the sense it. of pacing, they should have been like Marvel. Right. I think there should have been a few movies. Maybe there should have been one movie in between this and... The last one, right, right, to to better like it just it seems like it was too much too much at once. All right, four okay. hours. Is that it for the final thoughts? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're starting to tread some of the same yeah, ground. Yeah, just but, uh, yeah. I mean, go see it if you want to see it. Don't don't let yeah, it stop you from seeing it. It's better it. than the Whedon version. Yep, uh, I I, I, feel I think it's better than so the Whedon version. Yeah, so there's yeah. that, but. Um, yeah, like I said, don't don't just go off ours. If you want to see yeah. it, please by all yeah, means oh, yeah. see it. We don't want to trash it. And not ha- just so you won't see it. Please, by all means, check it out. Make just your own fell. decisions. And <laughs> see, uh, oh, okay. See what you want to do. Yeah, um, yeah quick, definitely, definitely. Yeah. So before we go, a quick spoiler for next week, uh, because we're doing another movie. <laughs> there you go. We're doing Kong versus Kong versus Godzilla. Godzilla, Godzilla versus Kong. Oh, and Tony. Tony Tony's, is ready. Tony's already going. He's all jacked up. Crap. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't. Yeah, I, I, I didn't like Godzilla 2014. Just, just a little backstory. Yeah. I really didn't like Godzilla King of the Monsters. We saw both those movies like oh together. My God. And yeah, we had the same. We had the same thought. They were really Oof. bad. But a lot of people seem to really like King of the Monsters. I, it's a fan I service didn't. movie. As a fan service yeah. movie, yeah. But as a movie, movie, it's. Mm. <sighs> Um, but we'll see. You okay. know, and we'll Kong, see. And Kong I mean, it's got good. the great Adam Wingard as director. How could it fail? Uh, <laughs> I wish you guys would never told me that. Okay. Skull Island was decent, so we'll, yeah. I don't know. Skull we'll Island see. was good. Um, yeah. There was like just that one scene where he falls into the ships and suddenly wrapped up in chains because some freaking executive at Universal said, he's got to break out of chains because he's King Kong. <laughs> that was stupid. But other than that, I like the movie. All right. He's the world's <laughs> oldest movie yeah. executive. Right, right. I was a child. I was a child when in 1933 God, King Kong came out. <laughs> so I need to see a break some chains. <laughs> That's right. right. All right. Any recommendations or plugs? Um, you, would you like to plug Titan Goji? Yeah. Hey, T- Davis, if you're watching this, I'm plugging you. <laughs> not, not, not that so what is way. it? What is it? Yeah, we basically what YouTube ex- channel? Titan Goji with exclamation mark and every Saturday. Well, not not uh, not this not uh, this or not not well not, just, not this week Saturday. Basically, the... a- after Godzilla vs Kong comes out, we're gonna talk about Godzilla vs nice. Kong. Yeah. Um. What What's the YouTube channel? Titan Goji with an exclamation point. Yep. Nice. And he has his own T public, and I buy some of his shirts occasionally. Nice. Yeah. But you haven't bought any of my shirts. Uh, you should I have a cool Mecha Godzilla shirt. You should promote your yeah, own you T-Public. <laughs> yeah. Like That's right. Like I do have like a T-Public. Like what he does. Um, if you like obscure, nerdy stuff on, right. on a shirt, um, look up the go shirt. Go Fenris. Uh, yeah. Right? On T-Public. Yeah, Go Fenris. Yeah. G-O-F-E-N-R-I-S. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you got? Uh, what do I got? Well. Recommendations? Mm, I, haven't really, I haven't really done much of anything this... Oh, I played a... Uh, I played Super Ghouls and Goblins, Super Ghosts and Goblins, the the, uh, oh. the uh, HD, I guess, the remake wow. game. It's pretty fun. It's pretty cool. It's hard though. Right? It's That's the a hard uh, game, uh, it yeah. is hard, but they it's give a you a lot of stuff. Hard game, yeah. They give you a lot of stuff to so that you can actually beat it. Yeah, nice. it's not the best way to do it. Um, if you're trying to challenge yourself, but I don't know. I played for a while, and I was just like, screw this. I'm just going to start using all this stuff. <laughs> okay. Um, I played the – I had the classic version before that, and, right. which was also very good, uh, very hard, a lot right, harder. Yeah, they don't yeah. give you all the lifelines that the, this new one gives you. So. Okay. 
um, there's that. But yeah, I mean, I, I would I would recommend that. Um, since Tony suggested, I do have a T Public site, Go Fenris. I uh, got some cool T-shirts on there. I actually have Star Trek T-shirts that are licensed. Um, some of them are very cool. If you're a Starfleet Battles fan, it's an old war game based off the original show. I have T-shirts from that on there. Um, got some other cool T-shirts. One that you actually sort of helped design. Ponta, what is it? Ponta, Ponta la Pilas? Ponta las Pilas. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I can't say it right. <laughs> but that's a really cool one. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of a weird, obscure um, one, yeah. They got some Cthulhu-based uh, HP mm-hmm. Lovecraft stuff on there. So, yeah. Check okay. it out. A lot of good stuff. Yeah. Anything else, guys, before we get out of here? Nope. Nope. Godzilla All versus right. Kong next week. Kong wins 2021. <laughs> okay, end it. End it. <laughs> you, <yes. laughs> see you guys next right, week. See ya. week.